GemPages Shopify tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with using GemPages for Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to know to get started with GemPages for Shopify is that GemPages is a plugin that enables you to better design your Shopify store. And this can be a really important step because this is what my Shopify store currently looks like. Obviously, it's not the best. So you can really fix this by using gem pages. So to get started, simply go on to your Shopify dashboard. Over here, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left and then click on your Shopify app store on the top right. Now, once you've opened up the Shopify app store, you're going to go into your search bar and search for gem pages. And the first plugin or application that will appear is going to be gem pages so you're going to click on gem pages on the particular application and the developer should also be gem pages this is the actual official application and then you're going to click on install over here and this will lead you back to your shopify installation page where we can get started with integrating gem pages so once this has been opened up you're going to click on install app on the top right and then this is going to just add gem pages to your Shopify store. Now, once this has been completed, it will ask you what do you intend to really build. So I want to build product pages or home pages. So after that, I'm going to click on create your page and you can directly just jump into building your page and this will lead you to the gem pages, you know, website editor or website builder. But if you are just a bit uncertain, you can just go back to your Shopify dashboard and just view it over there. But I'm just going to click on over here and we can get started by adding elements. So you have some global styles you can add and then you have templates. Templates are a great way to get started. Not only the fact that you have templates for just basic home pages, but you actually have templates for sections. So you can get started section by section instead of having to get started all at once. So let's say I want to build a basic home page and I'm just going to search for home page or welcome page. And you can see on the left, you have multiple different filters as well. So if you want a home page, we can filter this out. And we have a bunch of different templates available. We have this page over here. We have multiple different pages, so I'm going to take a simple little home page. I don't want it to be too confusing. I'm going to keep it rather basic like this one. And then I can click on add to page over here. And now once our page has been added, I can get started with the customization. Now, the first thing is, is that we have this little section and I want to delete this. So I can click on this item and then scroll down and click on delete element. Because I want my top section to be pretty basic and I'm going to go into elements on the top left. And then I'm going to add a row over here and I'm going to drag and drop it on the top. So this is our basic element. And then over here, I am going to drop our logo. You can type in the logo if you want. You can, you know, add a picture logo. Let's say I just have a heading because I don't have... A logo for my business yet but we're going to add a heading and then you can format the heading as you like as well like this I'm going to just format this and then I'm going to place it right over here and then you can add your navigation panel so you can go into elements and then you're going to add you can have content list product items we're going to add product quantity color swatches media items and more I'm just going to move forward to our next section because, you know, this is our top header and it already has our basic, you know, theme header and theme footer. So I don't think I really need to add this, the Durden branding on top. But if you still do want to, you're always, you know, you can really customize it as your own. But I think I'm going to remove it because I feel like it would look like it's too much. Now, after that, we have our second section. I'm going to add colors, prints and more and then after that i'm going to customize this bottom text as well and then after that you have multiple different icons now you can add your business's personal achievements over here obviously the number of reviews you have received if you haven't then you want to you might as well delete some of these blocks if they are not befitting to you 
So you can click on these text blocks and just delete these items over here. Obviously, you only want to add things that are applicable to your business like this. And then you have your choose your product item or button. Now, you guys can see this is the label. I want to change this to a shop now button. So I'm going to click on the button. And then on the top left, you get the label section where you're going to enter the text that you want to display like so. So I've displayed my text over here. You have the basic font option that you can change as well, like so. And then after that, you have some other options like the font weight, the line height, letter spacing, and the icon, the size, the pick line. And then you're going to have your actual link. So you will be able to see what this is going to link to. And then after that, we have this image. Now I'm going to click on change image and I can change the image to an actual image that, you know, is reflective of my business. So let's say we are going to be using this one over here and I'm just going to click on open and this will just open up your particular image. Now, this is just going to take a little bit of time, obviously customizing the template, but using the template can help you build fields that are more accurate. So let's say I don't like this image. I can go on ahead and click on change image over here. And then I'm going to change the image like so. Now I'm not sure which image I want anymore. I think I'm going to go with this image over here. And then once I have replaced my image, I can click on the image and you have the image settings. Now you have the adaptive style. If you want that, you have the preload style. Then you also have the size. So you can make this horizontal. You can make this vertical. You can keep it square if you want it to be rather easily sized. And then you have the image scale if it is a fill image or if you want it to be you know reduced to the size i want this to be filled out over here and then we have our alignment and the image title then you also have some advanced settings regarding the spacing that you have and the padding that you want now after this we're going to go into our next section which is our customer satisfaction section you can enter your own stats over here so let's say we have 67 very satisfied Let's say we have 30 satisfied customers. Let's say we have 49 slightly satisfied and maybe 12 not satisfied customers. So this can be, you know, stats for your business. Or I'm going to reduce this slightly. Doesn't look good. And then after that, we have our best sellers. You can, your products are automatically going to be displayed over here, whatever products you have added. And then you have your services. If you don't offer these, just click on the section and delete. And then you can add this particular item is being promoted, which is a best choice item because this is like a complete listing. I can add, you know, more info about the product if I want to keep this section. If I don't, you can select the entire thing and delete it. And then you have your customer reviews. Obviously over here, you can go ahead and search for your Shopify apps that you've integrated. Now I've been using Judge Me for my product reviews, so I can click on that and drag and drop that over here. And the Judge Me badge is going to add itself over here and I can delete the bottom, you know, default reviews that have been added for the template. You can just delete this entire thing from the bottom because our Judge Me section would be added over here. Now I want to choose the widget and I'm going to click on the Judge Me widget and use the reviews carousel or the reviews text, whichever one you prefer. And then at the bottom, we have some other sections, but I think we're mostly done. So I'm going to click on publish on the top right. And now our Shopify page has been uplifted with gem pages, just like that. In a few clicks, your Shopify page is going to look so much better. So let's take a look at our page. And this is what our page is currently looking like. It looks so much better than before. And this is how you can improve your Shopify pages as well using gem pages so i hope you guys found this video helpful and once you have integrated gem pages you're gonna find it in your apps and sales channels over here and you can go into the application and you can just click on view details to view all of your details you can click on open app to open it and to be able to further customize the rest of your pages as well now if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video